explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. So every night after you go to bed, a door opens and shuts. And I've always assumed that it was the mayor sneaking into my house in the middle of the night. Creepy. But what if it's dwarves coming in at night and stealing my stuff? What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley Expanded Super Modded Playthrough. That's right, I have some great news for you today. Since we are over 750 subscribers, we are pushing to 1,000 subscribers. You could help us get there, as a matter of fact. And I want to give you some thank yous to some, our cur some of our most current pylons. English. Words are hard. Uh, Arctic Coder, Cami, Saga the Storyteller, Juniper Rose Realms, Pyro Santa, The Black Knight, Shar, and Windy Vang. Thank you all so much for being our pylons today and uh, to everyone every day. You are awesome and you're the reason I'm here. Um, I'll tell you what, um, I have my drink right here, my handy dandy notebook right down on my handy dandy notes, but most importantly I have you. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time and I will try not to waste it. It looks like it's going to snow tomorrow. And I think it's going to snow today, too. But bad luck today. But that's okay. We had some great luck last time. Because, golly, as Gomer Pyle would say, look at all this stuff. We've got a prismatic shard just hanging out there now, which is pretty awesome. Got to love that. And a lot of um, some pretty good uh, minerals and, and are, 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 rubies and emeralds. Are, are they minerals? I mean, uh, it's not outside of the realm of possibility, in my opinion. But I guess I wouldn't have guessed that off the top of my head. But that's okay. Uh, like I said, I have some good news. We can now call... Oh, look at look at look at uh, We can now call Marlin from, um, from our house if we need to pick up some of our items that we lost because we did. We did it ourselves. Um, oh, let's see. I don't know where... I don't even know if I have a phone. I'll, I'll really be honest with you. I have no idea what is going on today. It's the 20th. It's Evelyn's birthday. It's the 20th of winter. We could give her something nice. What does she like? Oh, diamonds. I got plenty of diamonds. Let's give the old lady a diamond. Make her day. Or maybe or something. Pilot was down there. Pile Plasm is hanging out too. Why do I have these wines in here? Why do I have these in here? Why wouldn't I just sell those? Like, really? I'm going to empty out my inventory. Oh, there's my wife. Just, le just leaving the baby on the ground in there, crawl around all itself, and fall down the cellar stairs. You never know. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope you're, that makes your job a little easier today. I love the fresh air here. I'm used to the salty air blowing in from the ocean. We're not that far from the ocean. It's just one, one zone south of us. All right, so I'm going to take care of my farm. Oh, we did get the solar panel. That's right. That's the thing we did last episode, too. And I'm going to take care of my inventory, and I think we're going to go... And give Evelyn a diamond, because she's such a sweet old lady. And, well, I, I want to give her something nice for her birthday. Just about finishing up, and oh, look at we got a new baby lizard hatched. Um, we have a habit of naming our... Oh, I can't fit it. Cleverest G. Oh, I can't. Cleverest G. There we go. Cleverest. Cleverest G. We have a habit of naming them after clever girls because they're dinosaurs. If you get that reference, let me know in the comments down below where it's from. First person to tell me where it's from. I don't know. I'll Maybe I'll shout you out next episode or something like that. But I'm sure most of you will know the reference because you're all awesome people. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, would you? you no, you would not. I, I know. I know all about you and how great you are. I recognize greatness. Uh, I am going to go ahead over here and grab these guys. You know what? We haven't been up in this mushroom thing in, in ages. So let's go. Oh, yes. M -m -m my chanterelle. We got one. We got one. I said I wasn't going to do it during this. Um... Oh, sorry. Bunker, get out of the bunker. Get out of the way. Oh, my gosh, dog. Jeez Louise. That was <laughs> ridiculous. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. That was so ridiculous. Where was I? Who knows? Who even knows anymore? Um, but I do, uh, we haven't gone up there in a long time. There's a couple things we haven't done in a really long time that I feel like we're doing today. And I don't remember all of them, but that's certainly one of them. Let's drop off these cheeses. Oh, cheeses don't go here. Cheeses go here because cheeses are an artisan good. And then we throw our, I, I did have all my fruit trees done too in there. So that was kind of nice. Oh wait, don't I? 
Sometimes I press that and I don't mean to. Uh, don't I have mushrooms in there? I do, but I keep my my tree sticky stuff, my sticky tree stuff in here. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Look at this. I just noticed this, so I went and grabbed some fiber. This is the uh, little trap we put in yesterday. And uh, it looks like, oh, that's right, I only need one fiber. It looks like I got, got myself a little gold nugget. I like little gold nuggets. Let me throw that gold ore right in there. Gold ore. All right, so I went and got my blue chickens done, and they're all good. And oh, that was weird. The light above me just, like, turned on all the way. That was really weird. Uh, animal products go there. Let's go ahead and drop off the seed here. And, well, if I'm going to be selling mayonnaise anyway, might as well just get all of them. Boom! And we had all of our ancient fruit done. All the ones over here on the left and underneath me were all finished. So we're going to make mega bucks tonight because that's all ancient fruit jelly. And eh, the quality is mixed, but that's okay. Let's get a diamond and let's go say happy birthday to Evelyn. I think I kept... Yeah, I did keep some regular diamonds. Nice. You may have noticed before I said that we... Are, uh, that I have some good news to share with you, and I'm, I am actually very excited about it. Uh, you know, I should probably check to make sure Evelyn's actually in her house. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, she's up in the memorial north of the movie theater. Okay, so we've got to do that. Um, It's true that I will be gone for the next couple of weeks, actually. I'm taking the family on a vacation, and I'm very excited about it. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, it's over there. Darn it. <laughs> Oh, well. Wait, I can't even go this way, can I? Oh, it's so close, but I can't. Um, we're going on vacation, but normally that would mean that I, you know, I would be taking a break. I just took like a two-week break, though, so I didn't feel like I should take a two-week break. So I'm using my time that I should be packing and prepping for the thing to, uh, to, to, to record videos for you so that, so that even while I'm gone, you'll have something fun to watch. But I will also have some pretty sweet content from the vacation, which I really think some of you are going to dig. So definitely definitely stay tuned. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and follow so that you can uh, not miss an episode. This weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it is when you're tired. Pyle, have I told you that George and I have lived in our house for 30 years? I hope you stay here for a while. Ah, oh, thank you, Granny Granny Evelyn. Here, have a gift. You got this from me? This is wonderful. Thank you. Yay! We got a thing. Pelican, 0417-1900 and something, built in recognition of Stardew Valley's elegance. Just gonna stand here. Just sit and stand here in the cold. That's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> Lovely. Everyone, you know, you got to do what you got to You got to do what you got to do, right? Got to do what you got to do. So, um, I could do a movie. I need a ticket. Oh, this might be what's showing. Now playing The Zuzu City Express, a beloved movie classic, carefully restored for modern theaters. And coming soon, Natural Wonders, exploring our vibrant world. I don't know which movies, um... any of the characters like like none of them literally none, none of them but yeah well welp that's fine all right so what are we gonna do now well we got to get back to um oh that's right the crab menace i was gonna say we have to get back to ginger island but i finished that quest so now we are doing crabs here we're killing crabs we're not getting crabs as i mistakenly said last time call me old-fashioned but i prefer writing letters instead of emailing all of this new technology ad is advancing too fast for me to keep up with. I hear you, Susan. I get it. I, I mean, I disagree with you, but I get it, and I respect that. We can disagree and still be friends. Um, Wait, upgrade tools. Wait, there's a copper hoe. What can you do? What can you do with a copper hoe that you can't do with a regular hoe? Or the iridium watering can. Maybe I should do this. I should do some of these. I don't ever trash items, so there's no need for that anymore. Yeah, well... I should probably bring my geodes down here at some point, too. Have you heard of me, Starshot Cappuccino? It's this funky little coffee drink that's officially made for my monthly intake of sugar. <laughs> she insisted she wanted me to try it. Yeah, you're... See? <sighs> Never trust a doctor that isn't health healthy himself. <laughs> What's the saying? Go and never trust an overweight doctor. I don't know that that's even true, but whatever. 
Li the library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded with the taxes we collect from local businesses. Why, you just said that. <laughs> Let's say hello to Gunther. The artifacts and minerals you've donated are aiding me in my research, Mr. Pa. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I don't think I have anything for you today. Nope. But we're going to say hello. To, oh, wait. I got some new books. This would be a good time to read some books. I also... It's been a while since I've done any of the video games, like Junimo Kart or the um, uh, the old, old West Shooter. I forget. But um, if you want to see me play one of those again, uh, maybe I'll do that for an episode. I haven't done that in a long time. So we'll see. We'll see. I've been, I've been doing a little indoor exercises uh, since it's often too cold to get out. All right. Sorry if it's a little humid in the cabin. We're not in the cabin, and I'm not visiting you, Elliot. Fabio. The Fisherman Act 1. Oh, right. Tex and Gordy. I remember Tex and Gordy from the from the year two playthrough, I think it was. And uh, I'll just do this, and you, you can pause it and read it on your own. But uh, we, had, we had a couple of different voices for this, and that's not worth doing again. Doing again. All right. So what's up here now? The Secrets of the Star Drop. Professor R.J. Cutler, leading researcher. We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resembles the star drop, but it's not a proven match. Uh, kill your food is uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special powers to those who eat them. And we have. We have eaten them and gotten special powers. So it's the same thing. Like, come on, man. Journey of the Prairie King. Oh, hey, that's the video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? Did you know the developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real-life character, a true cowboy hero from a prairie island in the Gem Sea? A prairie island in the Gem Sea. If that that if that if hasn't been modded, it needs to be modded. If someone knows of the mod that takes you to the Gem Sea, can you tell me what it is? Because I would like to play it. I actually heard uh, the other day that... that um, both of the video or both of the arcades in the in the vanilla version of this were concerned apes uh original like were like their original works of his and he put them in here um as a tribute to well to himself but still um which is pretty cool the dwarves call themselves smoluanu which translates to sky people an odd name for a group that lives deep underground isn't it another mystery of the dwarves is that advanced technology they supposedly possess evidence such as this has led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves are the remnants of a once-advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. I propose that this dwarvish spaceship bore down deep underground, and over time, the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask, why didn't they come above and ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation, and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. <laughs> but, so every night after you go to bed, a door opens and shuts. And I've always assumed that it was the mayor sneaking into my house in the middle of the night, creepy, uh, to get the items I put in the, um, the cell box. But what if it's a dwarf coming in at night and stealing my stuff? I haven't noticed anything missing, but maybe that's what it is. Highlights from the... Fresh take. You heard that here first. Although it's probably all over Reddit somewhere. Uh, who even knows? Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called out to itself, Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until a hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From the hole sprung a seed. Yoba smoothed the golden light. Smooth and smooth, and the light became soil. Into this soil, Yova planted the seed. The seed sprouted, and behold, a vine sprung skyward, twisting and probing, casting a writhing shadow onto the golden void. After 11 days, the vine bore fruit. Yova, with knowing wisdom, peeled the tough skin off the fruit and saw that the world was inside. And so that is how the world came to be. Marriage Guide for Farmers. Uh, bouquet from Pierre's. Yeah, we already know all this stuff. We were a little late. A little late for the birds and the bees talk. I've got two children already. Paid for by Pierre. Remember to treat your spouse well. They still like gifts even after marriage. I, mean, I should probably be doing that too, shouldn't I? Act 2 of the Fisherman. I don't think we read this one the first time. Te Tex says, Gordy, tell me your best fisherman story. I've caught a lot of big fish in my time. 
and some that are very rare and difficult. But there was one that I had struggled to catch for three days and three nights. I call this, oh, it's still Gordy, my bad. I call this fish the legend. He was a huge beast, and the harder I tugged on the line, the harder he tugged back. I let my guard down for a moment, and he snapped my boat in two. I'd never fished since. Do you think anyone will ever catch him? Hmm. If this person were a master at fishing and caught all other rare fish first and made sure they ate the correct kind of food, then maybe. Above all, you've got to have respect for the water, son. Son, do you mean your f father? Yes, my boy. Dramatic music, bum, bum, bum. I didn't know that. We did not read that one before because I would remember that ending. That was an epic conclusion to the Tex and Gordy stage play. It's like waiting for Godot. It's the same level. Two actors, one stage, minimalism. Yep, there we go. That's the same, same page. All right, technology report. The blueprints have been... Okay, Crystallarium. We know all about the Crystallarium. Eventually, it will grow a copy of whatever you place inside. You know it's ready when this when it stops wiggling. Move your gem. Start working on another clone. Doesn't work with extremely rare gemstone. Notice prismatic shard. For some reason, the EMF from the shard interacts negatively with the Crystallarium. I think we did know that, too. But Oh, and I didn't even get the one. Oh, okay. This is actually good because I was just thinking, wait, gee, do I have all five of the legendary fish? Uh, crimson fish is in the winter. Oh, the glacier fish is in the is in the winter. I mean, southern tip of Arrowhead Island and Cindersap Forest, near where the river meets the ocean. Well, not in this map, which has been all modded to heck. Angler fish, and a strange twisted fish that lives in the sewer. So one, two, three. I uh, know one crimson fish, glacier fish, angler fish. I feel like this, oh yeah, this is the one that's up in the mountains. I've got, I think I have all three of those. And then there's one here that's in the sewer, but what are we missing? North Town, where the river flows down from the mountains. In the fall, winter, and summer. So we don't have a spring fish. Don't have a spring fish. Um, but that would be four, and then the sewer would be five. Darn though, but I feel like I I feel like I know of that fish, but I just can't I just can't think of where where or whether we have it or not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back home real quick because we're waiting for uh, nighttime anyway, so that I can do the crab hunt. But let's go back home real quick. I'm gonna check which fish I do have. Oh, there's there's Pam. I want to take up fishing, seeing as how close the river is. That would be cool, Pam. Get yourself a little hobby. Get you out of, um, out of Gus's. Glacier fish and the angler are the only two that I have here, which is a bummer. Uh, we don't have the crimson fish, so we have to wait till summer for that, which I'm probably going to forget about. And we could always go fishing in the sewers to see what's down there. Um, why do I have that there? Or is that my Dropbox? Oh, that could be my Dropbox. But I never use it, so why bother? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poke around, I think, until it gets to be dark enough. Oh, my gosh. Dog. Uh, to, to go and get crabs. I have only found two, and it's getting so late. Where are they all? And I'm, I don't know. Oh, oh, we've got another one here. Um, I don't know my way around here very well, apparently, because I keep running in circles, or at least like a really inefficient path, and that's also been annoying. Arg! I don't know what I'm, where I'm going. I don't know these scarp nearly well enough. Oh. There's one right here, and I can't get to it because the rock's in the way. Nothing I can do is going to get me here with this one. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's not going to wake up. This is the one time I wish that I actually had... Oh, I'm I'm so close. This is the one time I wish I actually had a um, a slingshot. Which, man, maybe I should start bringing. Out oh look, I, could, I did get another one. So wait, is that up to? We're up to twelve. We've gotten two more than we needed to today. Okay, now it's like super late though, so I gotta run home. Ooh, we made it just under the wire this time, everybody. Look at that. We got a couple things to sell. It's one forty. Let's go up here to the box. This is the box that I think that um, that why the door opens every night. 
doesn't make that sound or anything like that. I'm actually going to keep you here longer than normal just so you can hear the uh, the box close or the door close. It, it sounds like a door. It doesn't sound like that that box lid. It sounds like a door. So I think someone's coming in. It's either Lewis or it's the uh, the the dwarves who are coming to steal my things. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can do this real quick. There. That right there. That's what the door sounds like when it closes. Ooh, we made some good coin today, though. 31, 33,000. I forgot about the mining stuff. All the we, saw, we sold all these because I didn't need them. I already had 10 of each of those. So, um, But, yeah, that, oh, that wine. That'll get you. Starfruit wine of iridium quality, 4,500 each. Not bad. Not bad at all. And the ancient fruit jelly, uh, 1,100. Let's see, 1,400, 1,700 for the, for the big ones. Woo! Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you would, please check out the links you see right here. There's lots of cool videos for you to tie you over till next time. And uh, hit up the Threadless link down in the description below for some sweet, sweet merch. Leave a comment. Let me know you're here. But as always, my pylons. Last but not least, stay safe and be well.